inside. I've already cooked popcorn, which I ate. I cooked it in this, which now has potatoes. And so I cooked pork chops, which I already ate. And now I'm just working on the eggs. <clears throat> it's a good little spot. Oh, there's no bathrooms nearby though. It's, and I, I just, I'm waiting. Suddenly it's just gonna hit. All right, so I'm working with this twisting issue as best I can, and I think I'm overcoming that. But there's just something right around in there. It's just, when I take deep breaths, for some reason it's just it got worse overnight I just don't know what that one is it's a couple different things in this area all right 1240 and the weather feels great just out walking around in my regular summer wear but I definitely need to protect the skin as much as possible but uh, weather, the, the moisture in the air feels good. The temperature feels good. It's a good combination. Earlier at the library, I don't think there's anybody younger than me. There's like 50 people there and they're all retirees. This is, this is a very big retirement area. The care, carefree city. Cave Creek. It's all retirement areas. Somebody left these bears out in the rain. All right, this is a major flood area, but I didn't see any signs. But certainly when there's flash floods, they go through this way. All right, so this road leads to a dead end and it goes up a hill. Great. It's a long dead end. Here's the, the dead end. Oh, quite a neat. I wonder if people are walking in them rocks. This looks like a parking area, not marked as private. <clears throat> All right, so that was that tour. I don't really want to make any big trips today just get a little out get out a little bit and stretch the legs looks like people are living pretty good around here it's just amazing to me how this area is like so green for as hot as it's supposed to get these plants are ready for anything some dirt road and pretty steep 10 miles an hour <clears throat> so you got to plan on moving some big rocks if you want to uh, open up a lot for yourself it's hard to tell if we're allowed to walk up there or not I get the impression that we're not No loitering up here? No loitering trespassing. <laughs> Behind, off the main road of the city. Seems a little bit better to travel on the back roads. Main road is just over there. where they encourage all the tourists to take the back roads are nice and quiet not not too much building got some cattle I 
and some horses. This is some kind of a rodeo. <laughs> some kind of a rodeo stage back here and people are getting it ready. I guess it's kind of hard to see in the sun. It's looking like some action. That might have been what I heard the last night. I heard like talking on a loudspeaker. That could have been it. Foothills Granite. We got a road that goes this way. Looks like RV campers. Yeah, there it is. Some kind of a stadium action. A lot of old stuff on display. That's some kind of old water wagon or something. Okay, maybe I passed most of it. Somebody actually brought a wagon in on their wagon. Yeah, they might have some kind of a wagon days deal. This is strange. What is it? It looks like quite a display. Huh. So these guys do a lot of showmanship stuff, I think. I got a fence too tall for the post. That's a loud bird. Yeah, up ahead I get back on the main road. That's fine. I didn't want to go too far. That road goes up the hill to the houses. That might be interesting. Check out the Stagecoach Village. Wow, you go across the bridge. A big eatery. Friday afternoon. <laughs> All right. And it's all pretty much enclosed. <clears throat> I got a directory. It's, it is a lot. I go back that way. I'm just kind of letting gravity pull me. Okay, that's a road. I thought it might have been a bridge. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, hey, I think I'll go through the shopping. I don't have to follow what the cars do all the time. That's a, just an option. are great for bicycling. They got a lot of room for new business. Maybe their prices are too high. This is kind of neat. Pretty sure there's only one way in and one way out here. It's over that bridge. That's good security. Maybe they should call themselves the Stagecoach Island. <laughs> Mountain View Pub. All right, great. Heading back. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> Horse Town. My turn should be coming up. Wow. Yeah, cause I didn't, I didn't travel far. So they got a green cross here. I guess marijuana is legal. Outlaws best bucking bar. <laughs> Sounded like I swore. All right, because the seat is falling apart on the top, I'd lost the top layer. Uh, you can kind of see it in there now. I, I've got a pin in here. Yeah, I'm gonna cover it just with this this uh, not Kevlar. It's it's a special fabric that's really good for waterproof and sewing. I've had. I just gotta cut it. I'm gonna sew the ends. They match perfectly, and then uh, it's not gonna look the best, but it'll at least be a new cover. All right, I pretty much sewed this on on both ends. I only sewed the two, this end and this end. So that's the seat. I just don't know how to handle this bottom. Will this stay on? I'm not sure. It should be strong enough to. All right, so this will be my new seat cover. Let's see how, it's kind of loose. That's a, that's a concern. I'll sew it down harder if uh, it comes to that. So popcorn making is getting easier and easier every time I do it, and I really like eating popcorn. All right, just a little after 10 p.m. I had a uh, Walmart manager come out and tell me to move my car. He said he let me sleep a couple of nights, but now tonight he'd have to call the sheriff. 
they got this town code and he had to said he said he had to call the sheriff the sheriff enforces and it's a town code I mean this is this is like a small town uh, regulation that's that's going on um, I moved to the Lowe's and it's it's of course it's risky I, I'm in this open parking lot that's like you had to get a take a bridge to get to and right on the bridge it says no overnight parking town code $750 fine if you're camping in this this uh, parking lot I'm trying to decide if I should park overnight and continue parking overnight in the Lowe's which is pretty risky or maybe move over to the Home Depot which is not too far away they're practically the same entity it's a, it's all a big risk, uh, but if sheriff is is enforcing it, the sheriffs are definitely way too spread out. There's no local police. I look at this map and think how borders really suck. If I wanted to go further south than Tucson, I'm stopped by the Mexican border, and it looks so green. This time of year would be great to head south, but it's just like I look, it's similar to in the summertime when I was looking in north in, in Canada, I mean I was, I couldn't go any further north because I was stopped by the border, but it looks so interesting. Calgary, these borders are just... They are a bit annoying, I have to admit. It still astounds me that this Walmart is like, they recognize my car. I can't return back to that Walmart now. This guy would call the sheriff on me because I sp spent a few nights there. Spent a couple of nights there. I gave him a bad review on the, the Google Maps. This is before I, I found out that this is Maricopa County and Sheriff Alpayo uh, controlled it two years two years ago now but apparently the new sheriff has reversed a lot of the policy but the influence is still there I kind of wish I could have uh, I kind of tried to record the Walmart one previously but there is now some other signs at night they they shine black a lighted black it's like it was with Starbucks, it was with Walmart, and a, and a couple other businesses, but not here. Home Depot isn't under the influence, or the fries, but it's like some kind of solidarity that these businesses were required to follow on from political influence. Our pile probably had a hand in that. That would be a question to ask. Why? Why do they businesses that normally don't shine a lighted black lumen luminescence at night for their for their signs? Why they chose black? Starbucks never has shined a black. Walmart definitely has never. But here they do. And it's it's uh, speaks of a weird influence and motivation. Arpaio had a a strong hand in politics as a sheriff. I mean, he was just he was just running. He was just acting as a sheriff. I mean, it was a political position, but he he extended the influence of his politics and to practically being a mayor or something ruling from his sheriff's office as as like a de facto mayor okay here uh fries has to shine some black not not the name fries but pharmacy bake bakery deli signature i've never seen them black before it doesn't really show up as black on the video